sometimes I get ideas from other videos and other makeup looks, but sometimes I can get them from random places, like a text post that I found on Pinterest. I first used moisturizer on my face, neck, and shoulders, then sketched a line for the scar as well as the vines or stems of the flowers, which I did with black and green cream makeup. I also made sure to mark the spots where I wanted the stem to go through my lip and connected it with the lines on my chest. Once all the stems were drawn, I used white cream makeup to block out the flowers on my chest. I don't draw flowers often, at least not anymore, so I picked some that I thought would be easier such as calla lilies on my right shoulder daisies on my left, and a lilac hyacinth type flower just under the calla lilies. With red cream makeup, I blocked in where I wanted the rose on my face. There were a few spots that seemed empty, so I added a couple flowers, including tulips, near my neck. One of them I drew at the wrong angle, so I wiped off the top half and repainted it. Once all the flowers were blocked in, I took the brush with black makeup and added lines to the flowers to create shadows. While doing this, I used references, especially for the tulips, to make sure I was creating a shadow where one would realistically exist. I used the brush with white makeup to help blend the shadows out so they looked softer. With a different brush, I took a dark green eyeshadow and added it to parts of the stems to create some variation. For the daisies and calla lilies, I used a golden yellow eyeshadow for the center. Since I like dark crisp lines, I used liquid eyeliner to line the edges of the plants where the shadow would be darkest. I'll admit, I may have drawn the line a little too thick on that first calla lily. I also added a few lines to the spots where the stems fork for the shadows. Using a reference picture, I outlined the petals of the rose with liquid eyeliner. Then I used the black cream makeup to add some shadows to the petals and blended them out with the red. I know this wouldn't match up with the light source for the flowers on my chest, but it works best to show where the petals are supposed to be, and it was the only way I knew I could make it look decent since I haven't painted roses in almost 10 years. After finding a different reference picture, I painted falling petals on my neck and chest with the same red I used for the rose. I thought they might help to fill in some of that empty space around my neck and shoulders. Once those were blocked in, I added shadows with the same black makeup I've been using and used the red to help blend out the edges. Next, I used the red to make the wound look like it was bleeding and moved right onto my eyes because I still didn't know exactly what I wanted the wound to look like. After applying primer, I used a brush to add a shimmery purple eyeshadow on my lids and a shimmery blue to my crease. With a flat brush, I added black eyeshadow to create a winged look, which I just smudged out slightly onto the outer corner of my eyelid. Since I want to create a storm cloud look across my eyes, any fallout from the eyeshadow helps because I used it as a starting point for where I wanted to place the colors. After adding some purple on my cheekbone and between my brows, I finished my left eye like the right and continue to add purple and blue around my eyes and eyebrows in a stippling motion.
once I was happy with the colors, I used black eyeshadow to make it look like darker clouds in the evening sky. I used the same brush for all of these colors to help them blend together slightly. With a different brush, I used a lighter color on my brow bone, then I added some red lipstick. Since I was planning to draw part of the rose stem on my bottom lip, I used the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay lipstick so the red wouldn't blend with the colors I used later. Next, I used liquid eyeliner to line my eyes, and with a clean brush, I drew some raindrops using blue cream paint. I added lines around my eyes to look like lightning with the white cream makeup, then used it to add highlights to the raindrops and to sketch out the spot for the stem on my lips. Once I had the line drawn, I took yellow, brown, and green eyeshadow for the stem. The yellow works as a slight highlight and the brown for a shadow. It's not super noticeable, so you don't have to use them on the stem, but the brown and yellow work well for the thorns which I first blocked out with the white paint again. I moved back to the scar and smudged out the red a bit before using liquid eyeliner to define the line. With the same black and red makeup I've been using, I smudged the colors around the line to make it look more irritated and to keep the red from looking too bright. Then I touched up a few shadows, added red to the spots where the rose stem is supposed to go through my lip, and finally added mascara. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that I had a lot of fun trying to put it together. It's neat to take a line and just build on an initial concept or initial idea like with this and then adding things like the clouds and the storm that I put up here. I think it turned out really neat as a whole. And if you enjoyed this video, you can check out some other videos that are on my channel. You can subscribe for more content. And as always, I'm Crystal Campos and thank you for joining me off air.